Hi everyone, so as you can see we're going to go over aseptic transfer speci specifically for streak plates. Um, but generally the, most of these uh, techniques can be used for all aseptic transfers. So what we'll first do is, as you guys do in every lab, is to wash your hands and clean off your lab benches. Next, uh, you know, after you guys have everything that you need, you'll place your loops in the Bunsen burner, as you can see over here, until it turns red hot. Then you'll remove it, let it sit for 10 to 15 seconds. And this is important because if you inoculate without letting it cool down, you'll kill the bacteria that you're trying to transfer from the test tube to the plate. All right, so now that it's cooled down, you'll take your loop, stick it into the uh, test tube, and then you'll streak your, your plate. And your lab professor may have uh, another way of doing this. There are many ways, all of them, which are correct. But the way that I like to do it, just for myself, is to streak from the top to the bottom. And I'll rotate the plate so that I can always do it in this fashion. And when you're doing this, you should always do it within close proximity to the Bunsen burner, but not so close that once you're bending over or looking over that you burn yourself. And please remember that if necessary, that you should always turn off your Bunsen burner if you have to leave your lab bench. Never leave the Bunsen burner unattended. So getting back to the streak plate, we'll come over here and we'll slightly lift the top of the uh, of the plate with with one hand, and then coming in with the loop with the bacteria, we'll streak the plate. And then we'll burn the Bunsen burner again until it's bright red. Wait for 10 to 15 seconds. And if necessary, um, we'll, to just to make sure that the, that the loop is cooled down, we'll lift the top up again and touch the sides, the plastic sides of the inner walls of the plate. If you hear like a sizzling sound, then it's still too hot. If you don't hear anything, then it's good to go. And as I said, we'll do it. I like to do it in a top to bottom motion. So I'll turn my plate, and then I'll come in once, go out, come in one more time, and then that's it. Okay. You never want to go in more than twice. Okay. Afterwards, same thing, burn it until it's bright red, 10 to 15 seconds, you can check by putting it on the inner walls, and then you'll streak again. Same thing, so pass in once, and then twice, and then that's it. Okay. And this last time, you don't need to reflame the loop, just come in. Start from one, oops, one, twice, and then just finish it off. All right. And the main thing that you want to look for is for isolated colonies. Um, sometimes you get it in the third quadrant um, or the fourth quadrant. Whichever one is good, but you, what you really want to look for is isolated colonies, which are just those little dots that you'll see on the next day. After this, you'll store the, your your uh, plates with the agar on top into the 37 degrees incubator, and you'll wait to see your, your streak plates for the next day. All right, if you guys have any questions about this, feel free to shoot me an email, and I'll answer you guys' questions. Look forward to hearing from you guys.